Welcome to Econ Horizon. A new dawn is breaking over Asia, a continent undergoing a dramatic 180-degree shift, emerging as a powerhouse in economic growth, business ease and investment opportunities. This is a region that boasts some of the largest economies, best passports, top manufacturers and the most substantial consumer bases on the planet. Investing in Asia? An obvious choice for savvy investors, so we've compiled a list of the top five Asian countries to invest in, a chance to be part of this vibrant region brimming with rich culture, stunning landscapes and enticing prospects. Asia, home to over 4.5 billion people, offers quantity and diversity in spades. It's a colossal continent, not just East or Southeast Asia, but 48 countries spanning from Turkey in the West to Japan in the East, according to the United Nations. In Asia, you'll find a multitude of countries, each with unique investment potential and development levels. However, remember, no one country is a perfect match for everyone. Your individual circumstances and risk tolerance are crucial in determining the best investment path and destination. So without further ado, let's delve into the top five Asian countries to invest in. Stay tuned and as support for our channel, share this video with friends and get ready to explore new horizons. As we explore the Asian investment landscape, we can't overlook Vietnam, a Southeast Asian gem that's quickly becoming a favorite among global investors. With its sprawling rivers, beautiful beaches and bustling cities, Vietnam offers a unique blend of natural beauty and economic potential. But why are we focusing on Vietnam when its colossal neighbor China has long been the go-to for investors? Well, the tides are changing. Increasing travel restrictions and escalating costs in China are driving capital and entrepreneurs to neighboring countries, with Vietnam emerging as the top contender. Global powerhouses like Nike and Samsung are setting up their manufacturing units in Vietnam, significantly boosting the country's manufacturing sector. This shift is not just a testament to Vietnam's potential, but also an opportunity for investors to tap into a market that's on the rise. Vietnam's burgeoning consumer base, nearly 100 million strong, offers a market ripe for investment. But like all investment opportunities, it's not without its challenges. For instance, foreign investors can't own freehold land in Vietnam, as all land is state-owned. This means that you can only leasehold a property for up to 70 years, which might be a deterrent for some real estate investors. However, for those interested in stocks, Vietnam may offer an exciting opportunity. While you might need a brokerage account in a financial hub like Singapore or Hong Kong, or even travel to Vietnam to open one, the recent dip in Vietnamese stocks presents a prime buying opportunity for investors. So, as we venture into the world of Asian investments, keep an eye on Vietnam, a rising star that's challenging the status quo and offering a fresh perspective on Asian investment opportunities. Moving on from Vietnam, our next stop on this Asian investment journey is Singapore, an island nation renowned for its impressive wealth and strategic location. Singapore, often dubbed as Asia's Switzerland, is one of the wealthiest nations in the world, boasting a high number of ultra-high net worth individuals, UHNYs. It is projected that Singapore's UHNY population will skyrocket by an astonishing 270% by 2026, signifying an immense growth in wealth and prosperity. With its robust economy, high safety standards, and top-notch health and infrastructure facilities, Singapore has earned the title of the world's freest economy by the Heritage Foundation. This is a significant indicator for foreign investors, demonstrating the ease of doing business and the level of economic freedom in the country. However, it's important to note that the entry price into Singapore's real estate or stock market isn't for the faint-hearted. On average, properties in Singapore cost around US dollar 20,000 per square meter, surpassing real estate prices in renowned capitals like New York, London or Paris. While this may seem steep, a strategic investment in Singapore's real estate market could potentially yield high returns given the country's popularity and economic stability. But Singapore isn't just about real estate. Its stock market serves as a gateway to the whole of Asia, providing investors with the opportunity to trade stocks in emerging markets like the Philippines and Malaysia. This access is unique to Singapore and is not available through brokerage accounts in the US or Europe. If the idea of becoming a resident or citizen of Singapore intrigues you, we have an ultimate guide discussing permanent residency and citizenship in Singapore in detail. 
So whether you're looking to invest in real estate or stocks or considering a move to this prosperous nation, Singapore offers a wealth of opportunities for the discerning investor. Now that we've explored the wealthy powerhouse of Singapore, let's delve into the hidden gem of Asia Malaysia. This country is one of the most foreigner-friendly nations in Asia when it comes to investment. Unlike many of its neighbors, Malaysia allows foreigners to own freehold property with minimal restrictions. This is a stark contrast to countries like the Philippines, Thailand, or even Singapore, where landed property is largely off-limits to foreign investors. In Malaysia, you can practically buy any type of land as a foreigner. Furthermore, property investment in Malaysia may also qualify you for visa programs, such as the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H visa. Our ultimate guide on the MM2H visa discusses its eligibility, minimum investment, benefits, and everything else you need to know. If Singapore's real estate market is out of your budget range, Malaysia offers a solid and cost-effective alternative. In the heart of Kuala Lumpur, you can still find property priced at US dollar 2000, US dollar 3000 per square meter, a fraction of the cost of Singapore real estate. Coupled with the right to own freehold property and access to fast-track visa programs, Malaysia presents a compelling option for foreigners seeking to invest in the Asia-Pacific region. Now let's shift our focus to Cambodia, a country that despite its rapid growth remains one of the most underrated investment destinations in Asia. Often compared to Thailand of the 1980s, Cambodia is currently in a similar phase of development, boasting an impressive average GDP growth of over 7% for the past decade. But Cambodia is not just about business and investment. It's a country rich in cultural heritage and natural beauty. Take for instance the Angkor Wat, this temple complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the largest religious monument in the world, attracting millions of tourists each year. This strong tourism sector contributes significantly to the country's foreign exchange. What's more, Cambodia offers one of the easiest and cheapest residences in the world. Although its stock market is small, with just 10 listed stocks, it's a growing frontier market that might be worth exploring despite the inconvenience of setting up a brokerage account. But where Cambodia truly shines is its real estate market. Picture this, a centrally located property in the capital, Phnom Penh, for just US dollar 1000 per square meter. Such low prices are hard to come by, especially when compared to the capitals of neighboring countries like Vietnam and the Philippines, where property prices are, on average, four times higher. The Cambodian real estate market therefore offers both strong appreciation potential and high rental yields with yields of 5-6% being relatively common. As we journey through Asia's top investment hotspots, Cambodia stands out as a promising untapped frontier. From the untapped frontier of Cambodia, we now sail to the shores of the Philippines, an archipelago known for its vibrant culture, stunning natural beauty and robust economic prospects. The Philippines stands as a dynamic investment hub in Asia, offering unique opportunities for foreign investors. Particularly, the real estate sector here is quite inviting. Although foreigners can only acquire freehold condos, the market offers a promising return on investment. But what truly sets the Philippines apart is its corporate landscape. Unlike many countries in the region, foreigners here can enjoy 100% corporate ownership, regardless of the type of company they're running. This makes the Philippines an ideal base for company incorporation in Asia. If you are an investor who prefers to operate remotely, the Philippines Stock Exchange is an attractive option. This can be accessed through a brokerage account in Singapore, and it currently presents a wealth of lucrative deals. The country's business environment is teeming with corporations that boast excellent growth prospects. And it's not just the businesses that are promising. The demographic trends are equally encouraging. With a median age of just 25, the country has a young, educated and skilled workforce that's ready to contribute to its growing economy. As we continue our journey through Asia's top investment hotspots, the Philippines emerges as a dynamic archipelago that offers a blend of real estate, corporate and stock market investment opportunities. Why should you invest in Asia? As a whole, is a treasure trove of untapped potential. The South China Sea countries we've explored so far are just a glimpse into the vast opportunities this region has to offer. If we could describe Asia in one word, it would be abundance. It boasts its abundance in various ways, from its sheer population and thriving business culture to its diversity, 
it strives to wow locals and foreigners alike. The countries we've mentioned, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, Cambodia and the Philippines, all share a common trait, a promising demographic trend. The average age in most of these countries ranges from 25 to 35. This young median age indicates an increase in urbanization and demand for services, backed by a skilled, educated and youthful workforce ready to propel their economies forward. Investors can also find unique investment opportunities in the region's real estate sector. With low entry prices, unique architecture and stunning natural beauty, Asia's real estate market is a tempting proposition for foreign investors. Beyond that, the thriving business and investment culture in Asia makes it a force to be reckoned with. Many Asian countries offer favorable conditions for foreign investors, including the possibility of 100% corporate ownership, as we've seen in the Philippines. Before the conclusion, make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel to get more videos like this. In conclusion, whether you're looking at the real estate market, the corporate landscape or the stock exchange, Asia offers a wealth of investment opportunities that are as diverse as the region itself. So, why invest in Asia? Because in Asia, the possibilities are as vast as the continent itself. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the world's most exciting investment hotspots. Comment your thoughts about this video. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.